long overdue project and this quarantine time is making it work. We had a air conditioning leak about a year ago and I'm finally getting around to it. <laughs> I had to peel off the loose plaster here in the hallway and I've gone through and drilled some holes here and I'm gonna be using some Big Wally's Plaster Magic. So I figured while I'm stuck in the house, I might as well walk you guys through the process so you can come with me on this fun but messy repair. All right, next step is to spray the Plaster Magic conditioner into each of the holes. Um, this gets a little bit messy. You wanna put it on a stream and not a spray and get uh, at least one or two good tugs out of it of these uh, drill holes that you put in there and make sure you have a couple of good rags with you because it shoots back out at you and it makes a mess and you do not want this getting on your floor. So here we go. All right, line it up as best you can. Drags, keep the rag handy. Runs out. And just do this to every single hole. On the ceilings, you may have to turn it up right a little bit. Super fun. That's good. All right. Next thing, I've had about 10 minutes for the uh, conditioner setup. I am going to use the adhesive. I'm going to put just one good tug of this. I've cut the nozzle just to a very fine tip so that it fits in the 3 16th inch hole that I drilled. And we're going to go inject this up into the ceiling. Alright, last step is I've got this accessory pack with the plastic plaster washers and the screws and I am going to go through and put one of these in as many of the holes as I really need now that the adhesive's in there to hold everything tight and we'll come back tomorrow and pull these off and it should be back to normal. Then we just got to patch that hole. Next project. adhesive is in, this is all attached, and I'm going to let this dry for 24 to 48 hours. So here we are a couple days later. I'm just taking the screws out of all the plaster washers, and then I'm going to use a putty knife to uh, scrape them off the wall because some of the adhesive holds them up there just a bit. It's not terrible. You just have to scrape them off just a little bit and any of the leftover adhesive before you start doing your uh, plaster patching. I'm using Big Wally's Plaster Magic, the patching plaster. Now this is a sanded plaster, um, but all you have to do is add water. It's very easy to use, and I like it for, especially for base coats, if you don't have a smooth plaster. Mine is sanded, so this works perfect. Just add some water, you're gonna mix it up. You can mix it up right in the bucket. Usually it helps if you mix it into like a five gallon, so you've got a little bit room, more room to mix it. Makes life a little bit easier, makes the mixing a little simpler. So for patching onto lath like this, you want a good thick texture, kind of like a thick peanut butter, because that's what's gonna really get into there. Now I'm gonna pre-wet the lath so it doesn't suck all the moisture out of the patching plaster ahead of time. So just a good sponge to uh, really wet that, and then trowel this on pretty thick. I'm gonna play this next section sped up, but without interruption, so that you can see all the little detail work that really is involved here. Now, I'm by no means a professional plasterer, but I'm pretty decent at patching this kind of stuff. 
and it really is all about matching the textures to your best ability and blending those edges. For bonus points, you can also try to figure out what Beatles song is playing in the background at six times speed. So I finished patching the plaster on the ceiling. Now it's just time to wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna wait overnight. I'm gonna see when that gray patch turns white. And once that happens, then it's ready for priming and painting. There you have it, a DIY plaster ceiling repair you can tackle yourself. You can find all the tools and supplies in the description below or at thecraftsmanstore.com. And if you want more videos like this, and really, 
then go ahead and subscribe to my channel right in the center button. Or check out some of these other great videos.